Isaiah 41, 11, let's begin here. It says, those who are incensed against you, that's King James, or, or hate you for whatever reason, they will be ashamed and disgraced. And then it says, you'll look for them and not find them. Yea, they shall even become as nothing. And there are many translations to read this, and it's really, it's really a powerful verse. And the third, that's the second level. The third level is, shame and disgrace, number one. Number two, they'll disappear. <laughs> Imagine that. And then, disappear could, go, could mean in hiding. So there could be some mercy there. But the third level is not merciful. And this is what God said. God had his prophet Isaiah say this. He said, those that strive with you will perish. They will even perish. What does that mean? Perish means two things, potentially. Slowly waste away and die off or drop. Or begin to stumble and fall in the process and then cease to be. Nearly three levels of the word perish. It means to spoil. But it really means to die. You know, if you take the literal translation, like Paul, like Apostle Paul was speaking in 1 Corinthians 11, 23 to 32, talking about the, 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 the table of the Lord, the communion, holy communion, the table of the Lord, you know. It says, many, a week among you and many sleep. It didn't mean they went to bed and they're sleeping in the bed. It means they died. The word sleep there meant death. Perish there means death in Isaiah 41. So, uh, it's not a joke to play with the people of God. I would recommend you don't do it, but at your own, to your own peril, at your own risk.